Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by a diggity. It's going to be Ninja versus Mr. Cat. I am not familiar with either of these guys. Ninja fielding himself as Exodia, top right hand corner. This is BSL Season 16, Hasu League Round 32, Group F. On Power Bond to start 6 o'clock location, we have Mr. Cat starting against the White Protoss. I think I've caught Mr. Cat here and there on in a CPL. But, and I remember him playing some matches versus Thebus and and falling to Thebus, if I recall, in prior, in prior prior seasons of Hasu League. Ninja, I am blanking on. And for whatever reason, Mr. Cat doesn't stand out in my brain. That might be because Thebus was just a very strong competitor. But we'll see what he can pull off. Harbon is a tough map for Protoss. It is best of one in the initial stages. So good luck to him. And honestly, I'm actually waiting to see a Terran maybe even pull off like a... Uh, one of the more standard whoops, one of the more sort of Terran-ish builds, maybe go for a three factory opener versus Protoss in this map, just because look how, I mean, look at this space in the middle and all of the mining area and the vulture run by potential. So I feel like a flood of vultures in the early stages of the match could be extremely valuable. On the opposite end, I'm wondering if Protoss are gonna opt for more two hatch, two hatch, wrong race, two gate, styles of play or pressures looks like we're seeing a barracks built internally for ninja it's possible this is for front door seal but it's leaving that front door pretty wide open finery being grabbed as well looks like we are seeing an assimilator being tacked on so no two gate opener here from mr cat and usually we'll see if on the three player it ends up being uh it's actually kind of interesting that the gas still leaks out of the simulator while that's happening. Cybernetics core drop before initial zealot, and I'm assuming we're going to see a pylon to follow and just quick dragoons. I think even 3 gate observer, like some sort of conservative build where you can get pressure and containment on your Terran opponent, is actually pretty solid on this map as well. Looks like Ninja's starting to send out that SAV scout. No probe scout as of yet. Want to note that. Two pylons down. The gateway remains silent, so no Zealot. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not anticipating a Zealot now with the build order as is. Initial factory being constructed, only single SCV and gas, so it looks like it is going to be more likely than not a factory into expand build. Marine stalwart really holding the ramp, waiting for his brethren to get trained. What's going on in this barracks? That Are they just suiting them up? Is that what's happening? So you got the prisoners, and you're just waiting to get them in there. The marine suits. But then, anyway. Range, first Dragoon, in construction, SCV, taking a bit of a securitist route. About. And what is this? Is this for proxy? Maybe it's just this isn't a map. This might be a map that's unfamiliar to ninja nexus so it's one gate into nexus the dragoon finds the scv but is not going to be able to stop that scv from spotting the nexus to follow although with the timing of the dragoon that should be an indicator that it is yeah with just a, a one gate build between everything Looks like a factory being grabbed and a bunker out on the front in response. I don't even know that that bunker was necessary, especially with the siege tank follow-up. SV back on gas for Ninja. And defensive pylons being tacked out. And again, I would love to see more aggressive follow-up play. Another SV moving out. And I'm wondering what the... This, this has to be for sneaky purposes. Nefarious deeds that SCV is going to commit, I assume with proxy buildings or something along those lines. Potentially some follow-up scouting, but just wants to make sure that information is garnered. Looks like Siege Tech being upgraded, a few SCVs a little bit early on the transfer, grabbing a second gas very quickly. And the probe getting obliterated, confirming the amount of Marines at the very least. So Nexus up a little bit more rapidly. I'm wondering if this is going to be a proxy Stargate or no, I guess this is just a very, very early scout just wanting to see if it was going to be one gate into double Nexus. And is it going to wander all the way back to the natural expansion is another question. 
wow, so taking that same scouting pattern rather than going to the main to avoid all the Dragoons all the way around, and actually the SCV is going to be able to, it's missing the base once again. This is weird, whatever. Anyway, two Dragoons, I'm just going to ignore this SCV. It's scooted all the way around now, hasn't moved to the main, despite getting underneath some Dragoon play. Two siege tanks up. One siege tank could still be picked off if they took the left hand angle, but they would pay for it in significant damages. Already taking a shot as that barracks is floating out. That SCV trying to make its way back home, and is it going to make it past this Dragoon line now? It does. So I guess it just wanted to go sightseeing. Wanted to just check out the world, see the sights, siege tank pushing these Dragoons back even farther. However, there's no follow up factory. Sorry, there's the follow up factory. Continuing to walk these Dragoons back. We do have a robotics facility and a shuttle being constructed. And I'm wondering if this is for follow-up bulldog uh, style pressure. That siege tank really getting aggressive on the front and a Dragoon getting wiped out. Yeah, really pressing this forward. I'm curious if this is to just establish forward territory to go ahead and grab a quick third without ground support. Second factory online. This factory remaining silent. The macro, a mm, little bit lacking. And I don't see an armory up as of yet as well. I do have the observatory. Oh, never mind. Okay, weird. Mr. Cat just calling GG right there. I don't know what that was about. Okay, that was a weird one. I'll leave it in the books. It is known that Mr. Cat uh, GG'd right here. Maybe because of a supply block? But interestingly enough, we have a supply block opposite side as well. Or maybe because he built the shuttle and was thinking he was going to drop a robo and had some wasted resources and was just worried about his build here. Or maybe he was concerned about... I don't know. But ironically enough, he was in an okay position here. Regardless, okay. Game one goes to an, uh, interesting, yeah, so Mr. Cat moves to the loser's bracket, the initial games are best of one, an odd one, hope you guys enjoyed it regardless, um, yeah, thanks for listening.